Hello everyone, my name is Anton Duben. I study at the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. I am working on the Amgen Scholarship Project in the Laboratory of Mitochondrial Carriers of the University of Cambridge. The theme of my project are mitochondrial metal transporters. In the next two minutes I will describe the main goals and show you my results. Maintaining a constant state of cellular zinc is essential for the survival. Zinc enzymes play an important role in regulation of such processes as proliferation, differentiation and growth of cells. Study of these proteins, like for example zinc fingers, has prospects in medicine. Also, zinc is involved in proper function of mitochondria and MAP pathway, what makes my research, research of proteins responsible for the zinc homeostasis, important for solving such problems as cancer and aging. Several yeast proteins, MMT1, MMT2 and MZM1, were selected as targets. The main part of my efforts was focused on the goal to get the crystallographic structure of these proteins. I started from the genomic DNA and after two PCR rounds proceed firstly to the cloning into E. coli cells which was confirmed by the plasmid sequencing and then I successfully transformed yeast cells with different types of vectors inducible PS2 and constitutive PS3. The next step was to conduct small-scale expression tests. Western blots using histac antibody showed me a bright band for the size we expected, 56-52 kilodeltons. In the same time, I applied different bioinformatic tools to predict the secondary structure of the proteins, find mitochondria targeting sequences, reveal their electrostatic properties and predict zinc binding sites. So we can expect that it's possible to use another model organism, Lactis, in our investigations. To crown it all, we managed to make a big step forward to the goal of the protein structure determination. I believe the work, big scale fermentation, Lactis transformation, purification should be continued. Also, I want to thank the Amgen Foundation for the financial support, the staff of the laboratory I am working with, and you for listening to this video.